I was in a car accident on December 10th, 2011. I broke my C2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 uh, spinal vertebrae, and it left me paralyzed from the chest down. There's no other way to put it. It just changes your life, it flips it upside down. We got the phone call that Kyle had been in the accident. We didn't think anything major happened, and my mother and I, we both got in her car and we went to the accident scene and uh, we got there and we couldn't find him and then eventually we seen somebody laying underneath a white sheet. He just kind of yelled out to us and we went over and they pulled the sheet off of him and you could tell he was in so much pain. He had glass all through his hair, there was blood everywhere. So it was, it was scary but the whole story started from there. They basically said, expect the worst. Um, they told my parents that they didn't know if their son was going to make it through the night um, because the hours that it first happens, those are the crucial hours. Those are the key moments where you have to act and you have to be careful and cautious about what you're doing. We got word that they were going to airlift him to Halifax at 8 o'clock that morning. Over the past four years, he's had multiple surgeries that would help him. Usually when you start breaking vertebrae so high up, you experience a lot of difficulties breathing and it can, it can get really bad. Yeah, it's not the typical recovery for what I have gained back, because usually you don't gain much back at all, but I've gained back a lot more than I was supposed to. Our family turned to McGillivray Law mostly because we had no idea where to go. Um, we were kind of like a deer in headlights. We were like, okay, what do we do now? Like, where do we go? Where do we turn? Who can we trust? Jamie showed up himself personally to the house. Not only did he seem like a lawyer helping us, but he also seemed like a friend or like a family member, someone that we knew that we could trust, that we could go to if we had any problems. And you could tell that he wasn't just doing it because it was work, he was doing it because he cared. After that, I came home and everything was already, the ball was rolling and we just had to wait to see what the outcome was and it was a positive one to say the least. My parents were super happy with how it ended because we wanted to be able to give Kyle something that could help him in the future with um, whether it be a reliable vehicle, uh, hand controls, any exercise equipment that he needs or even just to be able to go get gas or do something fun um, because he's unable to work. The Gilbert Law really changed the whole way this experience would have been for me in life. If it wasn't for the Gilbert Law it would have been a lot more difficult to get through this time and I wholeheartedly believe that they really changed this experience for me.